All right, hi guys. If you're watching this video, this is going to be the last video for chapter 12, and it is on 12.4. Um, and during this lesson, we are going to actually figure out and try to solve problems where they ask for like the area of a piece of a figure instead of just the entire area. So there's a couple ways to do this, but I think I'm going to show you one of I'll show you two different ways, and some kids, they see it one way, and some kids see it the other, and then that way you can pick which one makes the most sense for you. Basically, what you have to do is, first, I would read the problem and underline anything that's important. The figure shows a small rectangle, which I'm assuming is this, and a large rectangle, which is this whole thing, and it says, find the area of the shaded part of the figure. Obviously, the shaded part is where it's colored in. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. The first thing is that you have to realize that I think it was like a part, part, whole, like a bar modeling problem. This is the whole. We are get, we have a small part, and we're trying to find this part, okay? So if I have the whole, if I can figure that out, then I can take away the part to see what's left over. So what I do is I think of this as I first try to find the area of this entire thing. So I know that area is length times width, and I know that the length of this is 16. And I know the width of this, well, this is 12, and if this is 6, I know the properties of a rectangle, and I know this is 6. And 12 plus 6 is um, 18, so I know that I have 16 times 18, and whatever that is, that will get me the area of this whole entire thing. So I have 16 times 18, whoops, 16 times 18 is 288 feet squared. Again, it's squared because when you're finding area, you're actually finding a two-dimensional shape of how many squares fit in there. All right, that's not the question. They don't want to know the area of the whole thing. They only want to know the area of the shaded part. So because this shaded part is a weird shaped figure, what I have to do is I see that there's a smaller rectangle. If I find the area of this small rectangle, then I can get rid of it to see what's left. And whatever's left over is going to be the part I need. So I have a small rectangle, so I'm going to do the length times the width of this. So this is the big rectangle, this number, and now I'm going to do the small one, okay? So I know that it is, the width is 6, and I have to figure out the length. Well, if this piece is 7, and this whole side 16, I know this whole side is also 16. So I know that 16 minus the 7 is 9, so this has to be 9, so I'm going to do 6 times 9. 6 times 9 is 54, so I know the area of this little rectangle is 54 feet squared. If I know the whole thing is 288 and the piece is 54, like if I were to have a bar model and I know the whole thing is 288 and I know a piece of it's 54 and I'm trying to find this piece, well, I can subtract because if I have the whole, I can take away this from this number and whatever's left is going to be what goes in here. So I'm going to take my whole, which is 288, and I'm going to subtract the little part that I have, which is 54. And if I subtract them, 288 minus 54, I end up with 234. So I know that this has to be 234. If I add this plus this, I would get my whole. So my final answer is the shaded part is 234 feet squared. Okay, some people do this a different way where they think back to um, where they think back to 12.3 and the composite figure because you can find the area of a composite figure. All they did is they basically ignored this. They split this up so that they had a rectangle and another rectangle. And if you can find the area of both, you can just put them together. So if I have this rectangle, which the length is six, and I have seven for my sides, well, six times seven is 42. So I know this right here is 42. Then I have this bigger rectangle, which I know I have the length of 16, and the width of this is 12. And I can do 16 times 12, and I get 192. Well, I have these two. I can just put these two together and figure out my whole. So I can do 192 whoops, plus 42. So plus 42, and I get 234 which is my same answer as before. So you can either find the whole, subtract the part, or find the area of the composite pieces and then put them together. Next one I want you to try on your own and pause, unpause it when you're ready. This one says this figure shows a small rectangle, again right there, 
and a large rectangle, which is that. Find the area of the shaded part. You have to be careful when you're reading because sometimes they'll say of the unshaded if people find the shaded because they aren't reading carefully. Again, I'm going to draw a line down the middle because there are two ways of solving this. I can either like think about finding the hole and then finding this piece and getting rid of it and whatever's left over is my answer. I'm going to try that way first. So I have the hole. The hole is length times width. The length is 15 times how wide it is. Again, this is 4 and that's 4, so that's 8. If this side is 3, then this side is 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. So the area of the whole thing is 15 times 11, which is 165 inches squared. That's this whole thing. Again, I don't want the whole thing. I want to cut off this white square because I only want to know the shaded part. Well, th this is the big one. Then I can find the small. And if I have the small one, I know the length is 4 times the width, which is 3, and that equals 12, okay? So if I know that this is 12, if I get rid of that, whatever's left over is the area of the shaded part. So what I have to do is take my total, 165, get rid of my 12, and I end up with 153 inches squared as my final answer. Another way to do that, if that makes zero sense to you, is to look at the shade. Again, I only want the shaded, so I don't need that. I'm going to then break up this part into um, my composite figures. So I have a little shape there, I have a shape here, and I have a shape here. Well, look, if this is 4 and this is 4, I know this is a perfect square. So the first shape is 4 times 4, which equals 16. So the area of this is 16. Well, then this has to be, I'm assuming, identical because if this is 4, then this is 4. So this is also 16. So, so far I have two 16s. And now I have to find the length and the width of this. Okay, well, if this whole side, let's see, is 15, and I know that this piece is 4, I can get rid of that to see what's left over right here. And 15 minus 4 is my 11. So I have the third shape, 11 times, and now I have to find this side. Well, again, I already know that from before. 4 plus 4 is 8, 9, 10, 11. This side's 11. Oh, so that's a square too, 11 times 11. Okay, and then if I multiply all these together, that's 121. So I have three different shapes, 16, 16, and 121. Well, if I want to find them all together, I have to add them all up, and I end up getting 153 inches squared, and look, they match up, okay? So either way you see it is fine. There's two separate ways, though. All right, this one, pause again, and then unpause. This one's a little different when you're ready. A rectangular picture measures frame. So this is a picture frame. So knowing what I know, this part's the frame that goes around. The frame measures 25 centimeters by 15 centimeters. And again, I'm looking, 25 by 15. Okay. It has a wooden border three centimeters wide, which is just this frame. To fit the picture frame, how large should the picture be? Well, knowing what I know, the picture, I need to find the area because I need to figure out how big this is right here that's blue. So this one's a little different because there are kind of a lot of numbers that you don't necessarily need to do anything about. I have to find the area of this rectangle. So I know the area equals length times width. So I have to figure out the length and the width of this. Well, I have to figure out this side times this side. Again, this whole big side is 25, okay? And look, this is 3, so I need to chop that off. And this is 3, I need to chop that off. I'll figure out what that line is. So if I have my holes 25 and I'm chopping off 3, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. This right here has to be 19, okay? Now I need to figure out this side. If this whole side is 15, I need to chop off this part and this part, which again are three. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. This also, that side also is nine. So I know that I have to do, whoop, area is 19, which is my length, times nine, which is my width. And if I do 19 times nine, I end up with 171. 
centimeters squared, which is the correct answer because this whole thing would be 171 inches squared, or is it inches? Centimeters squared, and that lets me know how big the picture should be. Okay, we're going to try another. Um, Renee is a piece of rectangular cardboard measuring 90 centimeters by 80. She cuts out a small rectangular piece. If she's cutting it out, you're getting rid of it, okay? So she's cutting rid of getting rid of it. A small rectangular piece measuring 15 by 20 centimeters. Find the area of the remaining piece. So we're getting rid of this, and we want to find the area of this. Again, this one has two ways of solving. So I'm going to do both ways and you can see which one makes sense to you. So either first thing what I do is if I'm taking something away, I know I'm getting rid of this. I have to figure out what I'm taking it away from. First, I can figure out the area of this whole shape because this is going to be my bowl. So step one, I can do area equals, I'm trying to find the area, which is 90 is the length times 80. And again, if I know 9 times 8 is 72, I add two zeros, 7,200. So I know the area of this whole entire thing is 7,200. Well, I want to get rid of this little rectangular piece. So in order to get rid of it, I have to figure out the area of that. So this is the hole. Now I'm going to get rid of the, of the part. Okay. So if it is 15 by 20, if I want to figure out the area, I know that I have to do 15 times, whoa, geez, okay, hang on. 15 times my 20 which is 300, okay? And then if I want to find now, if I get rid of that, what is left over? So I have to take my hole, which is 7,200, and get rid of my part that I'm getting rid of, and I'm seeing what's left. So if I subtract that, I get 6,900 left, and that's my area, so I need to make it centimeters squared, okay? That's my answer. Another way I could do it, if you don't see it that way, is go back to 12 3 with composite figures. I can separate this. I don't care about that. So I have to find the area of this and the area of this. Okay? If this is my the first one, we'll do this one first. I know the length is 90, and I have to figure out the width. Well, this whole thing is 80, and this side's 20, this side's 20. I want to get rid of it. 80 minus 20 is 60, so I know that this side is 60. Okay. And again, I know 9 times 6 is 54, and I have my two zeros, 5,400 is that rectangle. Now I need to come down here to the bottom, and I need to find the area of this smaller rectangle. Well, I see right here the width is 20, and I have to figure out the length. Well, if this whole side's 90, this whole side's 90. But look at I don't care about this 15 because I got rid of it, so I have to subtract 90 minus 15. And once I have that, I can figure out my other side. And when I do that, I know where am I? Oh, wait, that's 75, right? So I have 20 times my length, which is 75. And I can do that math, multiply it. That's 1,500. So I feel like this is just a lot of marker. Hang on. So right now, that's the area of that one. That's the area of that one, and if I put these two together, I can figure out the total. Plus five, four, zero, zero. Now I get 6,900 centimeters squared, which is my same answer over here. It's just a different way of solving. All right, pause and try this one on your own and see how you do, and then unpause when you're ready. Melanie makes a path one yard wide around her rectangular patch of land. So this must be her land, and then this is her path that goes around her land. Find the perimeter and area. Okay, I'm just going to write this. I'm, I don't want to forget. I'm trying to find both. Of the patch of land. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to color my land green because I have to find the area and the perimeter of all of this. Okay? So, again, I don't really care about the path. I just have to figure out the length and the width of that patch of land. Well, I need to figure out that and this side. If this whole line is 20, and this is a 1, and this is a 1, I need to get rid of it. 20, 19, 18. The length is 18. 
okay? I know, now I need to figure out the width, which is right here. I know that if this whole side is 12, this whole side is 12, but I want to get rid of this one yard, 11, 10, so this side, the width is 10, okay? Now, if I know that, I can easily figure out the area, because I know area is length times width, so I have to do 18 times um, my 10, which is 180, so I know the area of this yard is 180 yards squared, and then I can figure out the perimeter, because I know perimeter is when I add up um, all of the sides, and I can... Perimeters when I add, sorry, I'm sorry. Perimeters when I add up all the sides. So that side's 18, this side's 18, and then that side's um, 10. So my perimeter, I'm doing all my sides. 18 plus 18 plus 10 plus 10. And if I add that together, 18 plus 10 plus 10, I get 56. And I know that's not squared. That's just yards, which is a straight line. I have figured out both. The perimeter is 56 yards. The area is 180 yards squared. All right. Um, okay, this one's the last one, and it's a challenge. Um, if you can do this, then you definitely really understand. If you can't, that's okay. This is for sure a, a really hard challenge problem for you to apply everything that you've learned. So, a rec, don't let the picture just already, you can do this, see if you how it's done, and learn something from this. A rectangular piece of paper measuring 15 centimeters by 7 centimeters is folded along the dotted lines to form this. So we're starting here and we're getting here. They want to find the area of this weird looking thing, okay? Now, the same thing as before. I'm realizing that if you're folding it, you must be like kind of getting rid of these two sides. So if I'm taking away a part, what I would do is figure out um, the area. I'm going to figure out the area of the whole thing first. If I did the area of this is length times width, which is 105. So the original area is 105 centimeters squared, okay? What you're doing over here is you're trying to figure out this. So you're basically, you just need to visualize this, you're getting rid of this. So because it's a triangle or because I'm getting rid of those two, what I might do is I might think if I have this was seven, this side is also seven, right? That says the width is seven. So the area of this original rectangle or square right there would have been 49 because seven times seven is 49. And same with over here. If this is 7, then this side going down, because I see that 7, is also 7. And 7 times 7 is also 49. Do you see how it kind of folded it right in half along the dotted line? If they're folding it in half across, then you have to take half of what the original thing was. If this whole thing originally was 49, if you take that 49 and you split it in half, you get 24 and a half left over. So if I know that this right here, 24 and a half, and this is 24 and a half, I'm almost halfway there. I can see, I'm gonna color it to show you, that and that. Here's what's weird, is we have this right here in the middle that we have to figure out, okay? So, looking at that, 24.5, 24.5, the width of this is 1, and I know area again is length times width. If the width is 1, I can find the length. Well, right here, look at there's a line of 7. What's 7 times 1? 7. I know that this has to be 7. So this triangle is 24 and a half, this is 24 and a half, and this rectangle's area is 7. If I'm trying to figure out the whole thing, I can put all of them together. And hopefully... Well, I know that these two together are 49, plus my 7 gets me to 56, and I get 49, what is it, centimeters, right? Yeah, centimeters. 
it squared is the area of that folded up shape. I wonder too, minus, I could realistically, if you figured out, like looking back at this problem, if you figured out that this was 24.5, you could have crossed that out right here. So you could have got rid of 24.5, gotten rid of 24.5, and just subtracted it from your original if you wanted to, if that made sense. This is for sure a challenge problem, um, and it's one of the harder ones in the chapter. If you understood what I did, that's awesome. If you have questions, feel free to come in and ask. You also can check in your workbook. There might be some additional problems that we haven't gotten to that also help practice um, this skill. Hopefully that helps, and good luck on the test. Bye, guys.